Kalau sahabat tengok sekarang, kita ni dunia ini. Today we are gonna cut this thing out and see the inside of an IFM which is out of this bottom persona I replaced the intake from an iris because I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of money on a new IFM This one costs about 500 bucks then the iris intake is only about 200 something which is more than half the price but when you are driving it you can definitely feel a bit of sluggishness due to the talk deep nature of the campro we are gonna try to cut here then hopefully we can take this whole thing out then we can see the inner workings of a IFM Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. This is a basic IFM model. This is not the plus version which is from the Saga one. This is the older ones that came with this persona. So this IFM engages in about 4400 RPM. This is where the flap comes on. When it's about 4400 RPM, you flap out like this to allow more air in to the intake from to here the fun fact is after reading it more the IFM actually allows both intake when the flap is out the air flows both sides so after 4400 rpm you get the maximum air that this intake can take last time when we first heard of this thing we always thought this when you are 4400 RPM, you only open up here. Then you only get one side of air. So when it's below 4400 RPM, it's like this. It goes to a longer runner. So it comes up from here throttle is here this is a whole box of air and it will get through here this is a long runner you go through here you go like this it's basically like this go here 
it swirls around here then come down here and come up here this side is the one to your intake on your engine this is where the throttle body is and the cam pro being a cam pro look at all the blow by the blow by inside the intake menu is very bad it's very hard to clean the intake manifold without taking the intake manifold out of your engine bay another tip is this is where the actuator controls the shaft so if you are having issues with that and you don't want to spend money to, to fix this thing or change this thing to just stop the sound you can just stuck all the epoxy party in just make it hard here then the shaft won't turn around but mine has gotten to a point that the, the shaft is so bad that nothing can use it anymore because I always go to red line whenever I can so this thing doesn't doesn't stand a chance man so when the air comes in and it hits it you wanna break around. That's how you get all the da -da 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 taxi kind of sound. This can happen to any IFM Cam Pro, which is most commonly used in Saga and the Persona. And both of them sells very well. You can you can imagine on the road you can actually hear a lot of all this da -da 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 kind of sound. If you've never heard of this sound before, you can always uh, go beside a taxi then you have this kind of sound so I change it to an iris manifold which is just like this then come back up there's no valve, no anything it's a short runner which is good for uh, high RPM, bad for low RPM conclusion is this is a very good theory to make it reliable is something else if they can make it reliable this is an actually a very good idea